Hello everyone, this is Dmitri with Hardware Canucks and welcome to our very first showcase PC review. This one's from NCX PC, built by the crazy Russian himself with emphasis on this snow white camouflage, complemented by appropriate hardware with white accents and overall a gorgeous system inside the slightly modded Arctic White Corsair 760T. In this video, we'll go over the specs, the purpose of the system, see how well they've handled cable management, uh, take a look at gaming performance along with temperatures and acoustics both under load and idle. This is the Rogue Type S and CIX PC. Let's check it out. First, let's get the specs out of the way. For graphics, we have a GTX 980 from ASUS in two-way SLI. After gaming on this system, I really want an SLI setup myself, just because of how much horsepower you could squeeze with two cards. Plus, I did not run into any issues with SLI profiles in the latest titles. The CPU of choice is an Intel Core i7-4790K with a custom overclock done by Ivan himself, reaching 4.8 GHz with stability testing done in-house, so I didn't have to worry about crashes or tinkering with it myself. The chip is housed perfectly by the ASUS Sabertooth Z97 Mark S ATX motherboard. This is a limited edition run because of the white camouflage thermal armor shroud. And ours here is numbered at 3724. And notice the uniform camouflage across the chassis that matches the foundation of the motherboard design. Like both of the back plates on the EK water block are covered with the same pattern. Both cards looking gorgeous. All the white pieces on the exterior have have been covered with this pattern at the top, the non-transparent parts of the side panel and even the front mesh has received a pattern that is a bit difficult to pick out unless you look from the sides. On the inside, the top 360mm radiator has sides covered with the camouflage vinyl along with this uh, top piece on the Corsair AX860 power supply to really merge the styling of the Rogue both on the inside and the outside, especially with the use of cable mod custom sleeved white and black cables to keep the build in character. For storage, we have a 480 gigabyte Intel 730 SSD stashed away behind here, but it's still visible for showcase with a backup hard drive in the drive cage in front of the power supply. The RAM is from Avexier. This is a 16 gigabyte kit with four modules and they have become known for their unique lighting implementations that light up when memory is in use. Looks really awesome on video and even better in person. This custom cooling loop also keeps up with the white theme with white tubing and chrome quick release joints where the pump and reservoir are built into the CPU block and that's why you don't see a dedicated reservoir or a pump. Just a 240mm radiator at the front with dual 120mm fans on the inside and dual 140mm fans uh, pushing air through the radiator. And at the top there's a 360mm radiator with fans set up to intake creating positive air pressure, which is better for cooling, but the lack of a dust filter at the top means we have to be cautious about dust buildup. And so that's the specs. Now, the purpose of the Rogue Type S is to be a showcase system and really highlight the capabilities of the NCIX PC build team. One awesome part about the water cooling are the quick release joints, just because the GPUs are taken out during shipping and this allows quick and easy setup in less than five minutes to get things up and running. And while this is one of a kind type of showpiece, everything you see here is available for purchase with three configuration tiers. And for anyone interested, I will leave a link in the description below. Opening the back panel, cable management is well done. The chassis is wide enough to support a thick bundle and this concentration is nicely under control. Makes me uh, want to open up my own system and spend some time with cable management. Now, this is my first time gaming on a desktop SLI system and I was very happy with the performance at 1440p at the highest possible settings, getting close to 100 frames on average through the playtime, especially with a G-Sync monitor. 
And lastly, the dual radiator configuration handles two GPUs and an overclocked CPU like a boss. Idle temperatures are cool in the low 30s. And under load, both GPUs remained in the low 50s, while the CPU hiked up to maximum 83C. And that is right in line with an overclock, but totally fine for 24-7 operation. Now let's do a sound test. See how loud this machine gets. And now that you've heard how the system sounds, it's conclusion time. I appreciate the Rogue Type S for staying in character with consistent design language throughout. A very clean and open system made to travel between showrooms with quick release joints for easier assembly. And I really want an SLI system now and I think that's exactly what this Intel, Asus, Corsair and Avexier system was trying to achieve. But what do you guys think of this setup? Do you like the white camouflage approach that they've uh, done here? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Give us a like if you'd want to see more system reviews in the future. Don't forget to subscribe for more similar content and we'll see you in the next one.